need to go, go, go sit down there. You need to go see down there? Yeah, I need yeah. to go boom, boom. <laughs> Okay, so this morning we woke up and Rosie came out and she found two hogs down in the trap that uh, Sean and our neighbor set. And we were trying to catch a hog and it looks like we might have caught two. <laughs> One looks pretty big, and the other yeah. one does look well. It's much smaller than the other one. Yeah. Yeah. So can I keep it as a pet and then donkey? kill it? Oh my gosh. Donkey, <laughs> it's like turkey. Donkey. It looks like a donkey. It's a jump. It's donkey. like what you do with cur turkeys or At geese. At least or they have a snack. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Raise them. You mean raise them, and then yeah. just like chickens and everything else. Yeah. <laughs> At least they have a snack to snack on, so that they get more fatter. Yes, you're right. There is corn down there, isn't no, there? No, yeah. Okay, so we are going down to check out the hogs this morning, and uh, Sean and John have already been down here, but I'm going to come down and we're going to let Christian see these uh, wild things down here. Christian, are you ready to see them? Yep. Yep. What are you gonna? What do you think? Those are hogs. That <laughs> those are hogs. <laughs> okay. Those are all empty. Yeah. Those are fire ants. Fire ants. Fire ants. Fire ants. Oh, who's coming? <laughs> Some of the other kids are interested in checking them out. <laughs> are you ready to see them? <laughs> there it went. Yeah. I think that one is a baby. Think so? I I thought it was the baby at first, but no, get back. back. Don't get your nose stuck. Oh jeez, look at that. They do try to get out, don't they? Yeah. What do you guys think? I love it. It's just sad that he got his head stuck. Yeah, but he got it out. Yeah. The yeah. big one's scary. The big one's scary? They are kind of crazy looking, aren't they? The, their tails are like cute. Oh yeah, curly tails, just like yeah, pigs, but they're just hairy. I don't think they're cute. Head, you think I they're think cute? They're cute, but scary. <laughs> I think the small ones, because of its color, is really cute. I do think the colors are neat. They look really nice. No, you go. Oh, <laughs> Charlie wants to know what's going on. Yeah, Charlie, don't be too close. This guy. So we've got our hogs in our cooler. Look at there they are. Hi hogs. <laughs> Emma is getting them ready. So Dude, she put I some go. vinegar on Dude, them. I. Yeah, we got ice on them. And now she's putting some salt. So a little bit of brine. Now we eat it. And I think she's gonna do some seasoning on that too. Okay, mm -hmm. what seasoning are you gonna put on it? Uh, good shit. Alright. Oh my gosh, <laughs> Emma! <laughs> it actually does say straight that, yeah. From, straight from Waterloo. <laughs> yeah, Waterloo, Waterloo Nebraska. Nebraska. <laughs> All right, thank you. All right, so we showed you the hogs that we trapped. These are our first hogs that we have grilled out and now half eaten. But they are uh, absolutely delicious. We put them on ice, drained the ice a couple times over the last couple days and added more. Put them on the grill. We actually used uh, charcoal, but we put them on the grill and this was the outcome. We have eaten a lot of it already and this is just a, yeah, a couple of the pieces here, a few of the pieces. A couple? We've got some more we're going to freeze, I think, or we may cook them tomorrow. What do you guys think? It's delicious. Yeah. Okay, oh. we'll keep doing. We put Lowry's on it, Lowry's se seasoning salt. I'm eating We first put right it now. on the grill, and then we put some garlic salt, onion powder, and some olive oil down on the uh, on the grill. Mm-hmm. So, I know. absolutely it's delicious. Beginning. I can't believe these people don't eat these hogs more down here. All right, well, the boys drove up here, and uh, they have been doing some exploring, and they wanted to show me some things that they've found. 
and uh, John, I don't know where John went, but John, it was John and Gavin both. Whoa! Look at that thing! Man! <laughs> it's got the dials on it. What is that stuff? That is so crazy. That Now that's an old TV. Mm -hmm. What else did you guys find? Ooh, a tackle box. Is there anything Wait, in it? A tackle it? box? A tackle right here, a tackle box. Mm -hmm. That's for like fishing. You Wait. put your fishing stuff in there. Did you open it? Yeah, see? That's to keep all of your fishing stuff in. Mm -hmm. So you guys can put some fishing stuff in there. Yeah, but Dad said, um, let's throw all of this junk away. <laughs> and then, I Dad doesn't really know what's in this, but... Yeah, that looks like uh, for spraying chemicals. So yeah, be very careful with that. But I think this has chemicals. Yeah, so let's not touch it too much. Yeah. And then, did you find something else? Mm-hmm. What? A car. <laughs> a toy car. And then we also found a cocomelon thing. You did? Mm-hmm. That's so crazy. But we just left it there because we do knew Dad that we wouldn't, wouldn't Dad wouldn't want the cocomelon thing? Christian yeah. would probably like it. Yeah, he would love it. He <laughs> would be like, no, I don't want it. Good go. Yeah. Okay, well, thanks for showing me. This is really cool stuff. Uh -huh. Was it fun exploring and finding it? Yeah, but we're going to still explore. You're going to do some more? Mm -hmm. All right. Here is one of the other toys the kids found outside. It is an old toy truck, and I thought this was really cool. Um, so we set it up here to kind of display because I thought it was really neat. The kids are finding so many old things out in the dirt, and some of it's in our backyard, and some of it's um, back in our tree area, and so I just think it's so neat. Okay, we started our leveling uh, process about a week ago, and we're just taking it day by day, but um, when you get into a, a project like this, you have no idea how in-depth it's going to be, and um, I think it's worth salvaging. Um, now that I'm par partly done with leveling it out and getting it up off the ground, it has been sitting on the dirt for so long that it rotted out the floor joists underneath, not to mention the beams that were holding it up. So um, we have got, I think, the hard part done. Um, and we haven't broken any windows as we've been shifting things around, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, everything is so used to being shifted toward the right side that you can see even the molding around the the windows still looks like it's it's uh, leaning but in actuality it's not but we've got a lot more work to do I've got to put two more beams in and uh, I'll come around here and show you what this looks like over here kind of see what we've had to do around the edge But now that we've got it off the ground, the air can get underneath the, uh, the the structure and dry it out, I'm hoping. It's not real wet right now because it hasn't been raining and it's not super humid, it's, it's winter. But over here you can see where it was on the ground. Um, we had to go down a long ways to get our footing set up so they were strong enough to lift it without just sinking into the the sandy soil so we've got four on this side four on the other side and um, we've got to do our middle two beams but it'll be exciting to get that done I feel like this side surprisingly wasn't as bad as the other side so we'll bring you along and show you how it turns out Grandma Tammy sent us something and uh, it's funny because Lily was just talking about this yesterday. Oh. So, do you think you know what it is? Yeah. Okay, open it and see what it is. I oh. knew it! A turntable thing? <laughs> oh my god. It's a pottery wheel. You guys have been doing your pottery projects. Yeah. And, it's and so now you're going to have to use the, use the wheel. Yeah. And uh, then... We'll have to let Grandma know what you guys think of it, okay? You go, you were actually gonna get us one of these. I was thinking about it. You're right. It comes with the um, paint and air dry clay. Oh, that will be neat. Ooh. You guys will have to look up some YouTube's on how to um, work with the pottery. Yeah, me and Lily making... will be pottering all tomorrow. <laughs> I'm sure you will I be. I made like five pots today. Yeah, you did. Didn't Many you? pots. <laughs> You've been doing it a lot. Lily's the one who's obsessed with it. Yes, that's I good. Her, 
I showed her this and she's like, okay, here you go. And I was like, <laughs> it's called passionate. She's very passionate, passionate about it. <laughs> okay, well, the girls are out here making some pottery projects. Projects. Look at this. That turned out really good. You did a great job on that. Thank you. And uh, you guys, it actually came with some clay. So this is not our backyard clay. No, it's That is from the box. Water. It's air dry clay. Air dry clay. And then it uh, came with like paints and stuff too, I think. Yeah. And tools. And that tools. Or a mess. <laughs> <laughs> I literally and a little sponge one. in your bowl over there so you can get it wet. That's so cool. And um, I also wanted to thank Pretty Petals because uh, my mom read your comment about the pottery wheel and that is why she went out there and got that for the kids. So thank you very much thank for you. the suggestion. <laughs> Here's a couple more projects. Now this stuff is actually from our backyard and uh, the kids just took the paint from the, pro uh, from the kit we got and painted this one. So. That turned out really cute, I think. They did a good job. Now I am out back in our garden. I guess it's our side yard kind of more than anything, but uh, where our garden's at. And do you guys see anything exciting? Because I do. Sean walked in the other day and he's like, guess what I saw? And here, and here, those are potato plants. Oh my gosh, I can't believe. They're growing They're all along here. We got probably like a 90% germination rate out of the potatoes. There are a couple of holes in there I can tell where, there's aren't, where there are not plants. But um, for the most part, they all came up. We did do a second row over here. Uh, John did that just the other day. And we do have a few more plants that we're gonna plant um, in the house that we haven't yet. So this is so exciting to me, actually seeing, especially after losing the other plants, and I really wanted to plant more stuff over here in the garden. Uh, I wanted to just directly plant into the ground and see how that went, but we're leaving again. And so <laughs> I don't want to do that because uh, I was really bummed when we came back and our stuff wasn't growing or was dying. So we will try again maybe later this summer. Once we're here 100%, uh, we'll start planting some of the summer stuff. But I'm so excited, guys.